afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane. We are off here to an exciting one versus one on the Stalingrad map. Between Mirage fighting for Germany, Deutschland for the right for the third SS Panzer Division, Totenkopf tasked with clearing out this part of the city, versus Mini fighting here for the Soviet Union for the glory of Gomlet Stalin and the Third Shock Army, having recently captured this part. Some unknown city on the eastern front. And now being suspected here to the German counterattack. We've got Blitzkrieg encirclement and festering army here for Mirasla versus shock rifle counterattack and guard motor here for Mini. We got infantry production, panzer grenade bulletins, and we've got stormtrooper bulletins versus shock guards and infantry bulletins here for Mini. Noting by way, a dual pioneer opening here for Mirage Flat thus opting to grab a lot more territory initially. Whereas we've got plenty of conscripts here on the other hand for Mini. Starting with two conscripts then getting more conscripts as well. Grenadiers are running for Mirage Flat. Looks like he's setting up the west side initially. The Pioneers are just securing extra territory. Which is certainly not bad either. Will certainly help Mirage Flat get a bit more extra resources there initially. Grenadier here creeping for that. Got a nice spread here for a moment. Mini basically heading over sort of a neat point on the map more or less. Got first engagement between Pioneers and Conscripts for the few points. Sadly the Grenadiers here from Mirage Flow not close enough track to support so overall here initially. You will find here that Mirage Flow initial fuel supply will likely be cut off whereas for Mini there's plenty of fuel there already. We've also got a bit of barbed wire going up here, probably to make it a bit more difficult sort of an engagement here. We can fight from cover that, for that matter, just easily vault over towards it either. Pioneers and Conscripts, Grenadiers are joining in versus the Conscripts will quick to fall back into cover. But will it be enough? And there we go, Piotr went down. Niet, not Piotr, he was the only one who could cock. There we go, another card scoop down there, run off with the rest. Troops holding up there, we got a nice sort of push there, of course, with a bit of dominance here from Mirage Flower on the left side. We got another gunner squad there, we got a fourth card squad arriving, and a third as well here from Mirage Flower. A third. Forces continue to march in. We are shooting there, and there you go. One grenadier down, two country squads here, so not a really good engagement. There we go, the grenadier's already down to half health versus the country gets suffered. Oh, there we go, two grenadiers down and barely any damage at all to the conscripts. Overall, pretty rough here for Mirage Flat. Looks like he might get ready to look for more. Two there go, conscripts moving in, coming under fire here. Might get some players around from another side, sort of support that would definitely, I think, work out there for Mirage Flat. Molotov's up as well, now making even further difficult here for Mirage Flat to maintain his sort of fighting position since at least before it's up from any cover. Orders. Quickly rushing into this large residential structure. Shooting here, it is in fact out in the open, they can't take cover since the effect of the Molotov is still there and they can easily pop in another one if so need be. There we go, the council squad rushed off. More arriving. Now we've got flamethrowers up here though from the last flat to help sort of force up the Russians. In this case, no, he's staying away from coming. There we go, just as rushes into it though. A Molotov and the flamethrower pioneer sadly will not be able to do anything here. He should probably take the other pioneers, but he should try to creep up from here instead. But oh well, we've got the pioneers moving in there. Then it's again catching on fire. Heavy losses inflicted on Mirage. It's not really working out very well. Another Molotov here. Pioneers are forced to retreat as well. But there we go. He's teched up. He has teched up. Three Grenadiers. So extra Pioneers and then it's rather rapid tank. There we go. We've got rifle grenades and all of a sudden things look a bit better. We've got Communists joining in, supporting, aiding. The overall, the losses for Mirage Flyer have been considerable in considering how much territory he's got, I mean, not really worth it, some might argue. I mean, he's managed to hold on to what he's got, but that's not exactly a lot. So, well, these engagements have been pretty solid, though, of course, Mini has had to expend a lot of munitions on it as well. And there we go, we actually got a Doctor Navy, which got Encirclement versus now Shock Rifle here, so that's definitely interesting, rare to see Encirclement used. But there we go, and we actually got some Stormtroopers appearing to sort of support, and here in this case, guard the 
Norman few points from the Bolsheviks. Comedy is forced away. There's the fighting joining in. Stromps are being overwhelmed. Quickly forced out of the building there with the presence of another Molotov, another Frangible of Doom. But the Kansas are quickly taking a lot of damage here from this elite Tulpin. Stormtroopers were technically not really an official designation. I mean, most German infantry was, well, all German infantry was in fact centered around the old Stormtrooper doctrine, though, from the First World War, that is the Stormtrooper Battalion. battalion. But beyond that, I mean, sort of stormtroopers that would have arrived with more improvised units sort of quickly formed together as the war progressed out of usually the best men in the infantry battalion. There was usually then a stormtrooper company formed out of those, sort of then quickly clear out for things that forming a further reserve within the division. So, a little fun fact there. Enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. But beyond that, there's not Pesay as much. And you got the shock troopers here for Mini. Usually part of shock armies. The shock armies were not solely composed of shock troopers. They were usually in their own battalion to attach where they were. Shock armies were usually very infantry and artillery heavy formations, sort of meant for dealing with fortified German areas, like for example cities where they dug in. A shock army would then be unleashed to deal with the fascists inside. So, little fun fact there. Now it is here, not really good condition, though, so it looks like he's... No, nope, I thought he was pulling them up, but it looks like it's not. Large insult here, we've got some mining gates from here, the shot just quickly seen the grenadiers off. We've got a... like to make a nice company up here for... The last we've got some flame flow action here. They've been forced away, the engineers here might want to be careful, there we go, they are also forced away. Might be here, the last saying up for the Sturmgewehrs here, for the Sturmtruppers. They would definitely benefit from that. Definitely looks like he's getting into the building here. And there we go, the conscripts see the chance to move forward to quickly pop over Molotov, rather rendering that a bit pointless. So that did not quite work out there, I think, for me last plan on the storm squad available. If you want to know, he's actually going for Panzer Grenadier then. Just good old regular pants. We've got shock troopers hanging from here. They might actually then be able to sort of cut off any retreat here from the shock troopers if the last not too quick. And there we go. We've got a smoke grenade further in there. Taking no chances before launching the assault into the open street. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty clever. Then there we go. Attacking here. Setting up. Assist, pin, pinning in. And pinning in the shock stormtroopers there. In this case, he's probably able to wipe them out on retreat, which is definitely going to hurt their Mirage Club a bit since they are reasonably expensive troops. And there we go. Wiped out. Fans are going to be arriving, but overall we've got here so far. The Rajpla like contained again on the left side, he's once more losing a few points here. Flamefer is doing what he can versus shock troopers. Body armor is not proof against fire. Probably quite the opposite. The Pioneers here might be pushed a bit too far there, but my Rajpla there go. Looks like he's able to save them just in the nick of time. We've got Glenzie pushing forward using buildings and the likes. And once more, Mini's forced to abandon the left side of the map. The Panzer here looks like they're really heading in here towards the center. Should we'll be able to do some good damage there. Looks like we've got some taking up here from Mini. Sending up the Tangri Battalion Command. So only having the worst few points but there. So only helping. So only also having his few not cut off has also benefited him quite a bit. Alongside having both munitions points. In that regard, there are a few challenges here for Mirage Flyer to overcome. First question is, what will he do next? What will he do next? The cautious here, remembering all the other previous engagements, he's trying to make it more difficult for him to be completely pushed out of cover by a Molotov. Piney is slowly creeping up, but quick stop there by the conscripts. Got another Piney in here, both up with flamethrowers. Like a Molotov there was attempted, but sadly not quite well thrown there. And then we've got the shock troopers. A few shots to exchange. The progress again from the south is going a bit reasonably better there. And there you go, Kanska's moving in. Mighty pop a bundle grenade. 
Got the flame for us. There we go to try and burn the Russians out of the cover. Shock troops moving in. There we go. Got shock troopers. Oh, storm troops arriving again this time. Well, the same position, more or less. He could more or less now get the assault rifle upgrade already. There we go. Sturmgewehrs. Sturmgewehrs for everyone except the grenadiers. They can't really handle them. Plus they smell. They go quickly moving forward. Need to cover there with the shock troops. Then again with these two units here. And the extra bit of... Accuracy and the storm troopers, they might have a chance there. But they want to get those assault rifles, they're going to be a lot harder there. We've got all oh, got panzers here joining in. They might want to close in a bit more there around to get off some better shots on the storm trooper or the shock troopers. Blah. Shock troopers, storm troopers. Scheiße. And go quick assault here on the panzer engineers, but that's not quite working out for the combat engineers. They are quick to find themselves well guarded. Panzer is running into a bit of trouble. He could have. He probably would have wanted to use Sprint. I mean, remember Sprint can quickly get you in there and sort of engage the otherwise here. I think it would be a good time to sort of pop tactical advance to get an increased DPS there since it basically gives him a 50% accuracy buff. Right from here, there does the trick though. Storms are hitting the counter cuts with closing in. No sign of tactical advance though. Shock troopers are running from the north who doesn't actually have the munitions for tactical advance, so never mind. Never mind. Again, push there for the fuel point. We got mi Mini there keeping up to good pressure around the fuel points, constantly harassing his opponent, which is good. Which is good. An additional Panzer gun in this squad here. Looks like Mirage is not expecting his opponent to actually go for armor here, although because he's got nothing there, can sort of seriously stop any enemy armor. That is rather risky. Even might say so. Also, note this is a long game, so no mid-game analysis. This is almost an hour long, in fact. Not working out well there. He needed some forgets to support the blizzard. Oh. Country actually ended up retreating, surprisingly enough. And there we go, shot's been baited into flamethrower fire. Another fire got a quick grenade there, though. Leaving the cover smoldering. The Germans quick to pass through the streets here with only one combat. Oh, mine went off there. Still, German infantry superiority is strong with all those assault rifles, and the conscripts are quick to fall back there from the position in the crater. But now there's a bit of a bigger threat here for Mirafka. This is E3476 out, and he's got absolutely bugger all to stop it. In that regard, there's a bit of a gap there. Yeah, I don't, he hasn't even tanked up so, so fast, wasn't it? Say, attempting to rush for any armor, which might have helped just a wee bit. And he doesn't have the munitions for a Panzer Schreck either. Particularly not after that rifle grenade. So, in that regard, Mirage is a bit caught with his ladder hosing down around his angles. He's going to have to do something rather quickly to at least sort of ensure he doesn't get completely steamrolled there. Small victory there for Germany. T-34 just seems intent on crushing cover. There we go. Actually using Sprint to make a quick getaway. The T-34 might get him on retreat. No! Shoots a bit too low there. And there you go, he's actually checking up so the last place not bothering with a pack fold. He's just moving head on thinking, alright, if he gets a panzers, I'll be safe. If. Got mines going down there for mini. More mines, that is good. Unless you're the Germans, of course, in which case you might have slightly different opinions on the matter. But two Panzer Gunner squads in the squad of Stormtroopers with assault rifles. I mean, they have, I think, some slight improvements. A bit up for close, in particular, there with their assault rifles. But otherwise, I mean, they're not that different. Really, what they want to do is use tactical advantages again. Basically, gives them a 50% well accuracy increase at all ranges. Moving along, which overall gives you quite a bit more punch with them. In particular, as the veterans, it gives them more accuracy. Of course, makes them further lethal. But so far, Mirage has yet to make use of the abilities there available to support the, uh, the Stormtroopers. Yeah, 
shock troops moving in. There we go. I mean, right here would have been good if he moved up close and then popped attacks to advance because I think he would have wiped those shock troops there, though the shock troops were allowed to retreat to right there. A golden opportunity missed out there, I think, by Mirage personally. Again, attack to advance is absolutely great under the right condition. It's like the paratroopers' attack to assault ability. Use it properly and you can absolutely wreak havoc on your opponent. Nothing short of havoc. Looks like we've got the storm to the right flank. There's something there by the T-14 in the centre and the Panzer going to be there. So Paul McCall almost up and he's been almost get a Panzer full right after that. Surprisingly, considering there's very little there to sort of stop the T-34, I mean, Mini's been rather conservative with it, but I, I suspect it's because Mini's worried about something up Mirage Flower's sleeve. I mean, he's probably not thinking, well, Mirage Flower can't be that stupid to have absolutely nothing to deal with on the T-34 until he gets any armor up, right? Right? Well, probably, I don't know. I don't know what Mini was thinking, but he was just, yes. I mean, maybe he's worried about telemines or something, but there's absolutely no telemines either from Mirage. In fact, there is bugger all onto that Panzer Force ready. And I'm sure Mini, if he were to look back at this, he might go, oh, looks like I missed out an opportunity right there. Anyways, quick grenade there. Can use the force out of the apartment. Reinforcing, building up, making use of the field aid kit there. Intriguing. A rarely used ability, but we actually see me ask where they're using it. There we go. Panzerkampfwagen 4 to the front. Sandbag fighting position is up there for Mini. Looks like we're seeing a larger infantry push up the right flank. While another one's going up to the left flank with the Panzer Fort in support. And then a lot of infantry following on that. Now we still only have the Panzer Fort to really deal with the T-3476. So there's still some rather heavy risks involved there. Getting up some good kills there. Securing points. And I got a T-34 striking in. And there we go, Stormtroopers run off. Without suffering a single casualty. That's impressive. And there we go, we got a large push going up here. Sneaking up there and then just charging in there with the Panzer rolling the way. Panzer gun it is and gun it is following up on the assault. Got a field gun there, but it's actually a bit due to the terrain here. It's a bit tricky for it to sort of prepare fully, and if he doesn't come exactly know where the Panzer was coming from, he might be in a bit of trouble. Plus, of course, we need to follow up to the Panzer because he could quickly get that field gun. But there we go. T Phillips said, Oh, shit! One of his own mines went off there. Heavy engine damage. Field gun there gets off. If you got the Panzer was moving in, he probably could have sprinted. He actually, to be honest, quickly make a move there. I mean, don't forget, sprint can again quickly give you a boost there to quickly move across. For example, get your. Panzer is close to the enemy infantry or stormtroopers if you found that instead. Panzer we're running on crashing conscripts. Oh god in Himmel. It's everywhere. Save wound my paint job, Peter. Well then you shouldn't have run them over. But you know. It saves the ammunition. Oh the other gun is it oh, wiped out due to a Molotov. Bit of vengeance there for the Russians, I suppose. Trying here to hold the field gun, at least tonight to the Russians, the Panzer for this pushing. That shock troops arriving. Might want to sprint up some additional ones or something else to support here. More kills here for the Panzer will be closing in on Veteran 3. They've got 20 kills for Germany. We've all finally being pushed away then. And I was about here to wreck the field gun, ensuring that the opponent's got no anti tank weapons. Mini's also closing in on eyes too, but still there's a bit of time there before you get one. Storm tools and pioneers might want to get a move on. We got a pack 40 there running clearly. Last flies away, can't keep playing or playing like this. Camarade. 
Getting back the fuel port there. Getting additional pioneer, that's not bad at all either. Okay, that's the last Our one. territory is falling into enemy hands. Troops running up there. Anti tank gun is ready for action. And there you go, the SIS 3 divisional field gun arriving. point there. Ready. We have taken it. Stormtroopers pushing ahead. There you go. Bun grenade. Come on, remember, use tactical advance. Tactical advance. Tactical advance. Chaser. Another missed opportunity right there, I think, by Mirage Flat. Very missed advantage of chance there. Burning, burning there from the Russians. Actually, we got a gun at his court there, interesting enough. He might want to consider instead of basically just sending up a banker here. I think that might work better than leaving a gun at his court there. Just saying. But otherwise, the left flank might be right there for a quick exploitation and harassment move by Mini here, taking away some points and forcing him to shift away to shift from the centre. Lots of flame for his rifles and of course the Panzer here. Plucking away at the Russian infantry. Got the two conscripts here lining up nicely. And there he goes, actually sprinting forward there with the pioneers. So I'm not entirely sure why he's sprinting forward with the mines. on this. He's getting very paranoid about the mines. And there we go, Vet 23 Panzer Grenadier. Flamin here didn't want the cancel, but they're quickly getting focused down there. Nice choice by the way. Bye. Mini there. If you got that, would have been definitely helped him for the course it also denied. Mirage plan, extra good source that repairs for his Panzers. 22 kills there. Some rather heavy engagement in the center. Getting very close to being able to call in an IS-2, though he just needs to save up the manpower. Conversely, Mirage plan can soon get another Panzer IV, though of course once the IS-2 hits, he might want to consider actually aiming for a Panther instead. And while two Panzer IVs can deal with an IS-2 reasonably, you know what you're doing, the problem is more the map here, it's not really allowing for a lot of mobility, and in that regard, the Panzer IVs might struggle more versus an IS-2, so in that regard, a Panther might be the better choice, well, in fact, assault guns might work better either, due to them having longer range in that way, getting a pair of them to self bombard and then get veterans to one might work out a bit better as well. Another option, of course, might be then to instead maybe try to bait it into some telemines to deal with it that way, but... Of course, an entirely different option. Still, good harassment. We've even got some S mines around here to basically make it harder for him to get back here. That's interesting. That's definitely also bold. But we like bold. In particular, when it involves dead Russians. Well, I do, anyways. Stormtroopers there closing in on Vetri 2. And of course, they are slower to gain any kind of Vetri, those Stormtroopers. And again, they do benefit from it as well quite nicely. And certainly, veterans if three stormtroopers with assault rifles and pop tax advance are quite lethal. The enemy has taken our supply sector. But there you go, the IS-2, the Josef Stalin 2 tank has arrived to the front. Now the mine went off, I think. Here we go, killing several Panzer Grenadiere. And of course, the question is, what will Mirafla do in response here to the IS-2 once he sort of sees it and feels it? Well, more specifically, his men feels it. Ready. Ready. Bit of quiet there. Pack 40 coming. It's not necessarily actually the best positioning either of these. It's only got a small gap, we can sort of really do anything there. Go, Storm to sink quite hit, but they got Pack 40 shooting back. Shot them through the frontal armor. Second Panzer IV almost ready. First one down to support here. And there you go, Yuna was actually wiped out by the minefield. That's definitely a small victory there for Mirage, but definitely make those mines worth it by quite a bit. Angle got the ice breaching down through the center. Second Panzer for arriving. 
field gun that's supporting it, which is good. We got the pack for him, moving hit by the same time, he's rather exposing it. And risky being lost there. At the same time, the gun is. Oh, got wiped as well, rather. Minimize the effect of use killing the other unit. Panzer's brought there down to half. Still keeps killing those Russians, though. Flames are doing what they can there. We go reaching veterans in three. Looks like here we actually got anti tank grenades. I don't know if you've not had any before that, but now, of course, probably feels it might be worth it to try and capacitate those panzers and make them easier targets. We are ready for anything. Very close to victory, too, there. The large flag could consider getting a storm gisher to support its two panzers. I think that would give him plenty of firepower. Another option might also right now be to basically tech up and begin aiming for a panther or something similar. There we go. We actually got breakthrough being utilized here by Mirage actually allowing his tanks to sort of re cut off territory rather rapidly. They can't secure it though, but they can cut it off. Plus, they actually get a speed boost. Not as one to speak as split speed, but still noticeable. Still noticeable. So we're all not bad, not bad. Chogs under fire. There they go. Moving forward, trying to flank here. Problem is that there's a field gun covering, and that occasion. There we go. Breakthrough wears off his panzer. What's caught them from now? Two and a field gun with a sliver of health. And there we go. Panzer comes back kaput. That probably could have gone a bit better. Panther falling in a lot of trouble. There's absolutely nothing in to cover the retreat right now. He's got no mortars laid on a smoke screen. Either there's an ice 2 moving in. He's got nothing. No Panther fast nearby either. No Panther like. And the pack 40 just got hit by a Molotov. So in that regard, Mirage is a bit of trouble. This Panther is always hitting battery 2, but it is about to go down. There you go, they got the engineers. 20 kills for the Panther Fort, nonetheless went down. Panther Fort finally went off there. He might have wanted to actually try and sprinting with the gun. It is to quick get them over there, but there you go. Looks like he might get the field gun through here, wiping them out for the glory of Deutschland. Gaining 33 kills here. Still, there's a huge gap in his forces. And Mini's taking advantage of it. Rather solidly. What do you want, Comrade? What do you want? How can we help? The sector is at risk. There we go. We actually had a sprint there with the Panzers now equipped with Panzer Strikes, just not in a good condition enough once they arrived there. And ran into some shock troopers. Almost got the ice through there. Almost. But not quite. Sadly, when it comes to tank destruction, almost doesn't quite cut it. At least not in company use two. Had it been the actual war, things might have been a bit, bit different. Engineers ready for assignment. As there are usually different options for at least temporarily disabling a tank and the likes. But we got another Panzer on the way and another pack 40 here. Also, I find it interesting to use his most veteran unit and not his second most veteran Panzer Squad to equip with the Panzer Rex. Rather than losing an opportunity there to basically keep a unit here which is otherwise able to do a lot of damage to enemy infantry. Oh! Flame for a tank burst open. Not looking good there for the last flat. Combat engineers are standing by. Storm to the right, Panzer is here moving up the center. Shot two was moving in there within range, and they're simply getting cut down there by the Panzer and the active fire. But another shot was caught though, quickly tilts things in favor of Mini. Just going to speed this a wee bit, not a lot happening there, so just there we go, running into those stormtroopers. Quick grenade, come on, tactical advancing as they're closing in, tactical advancing. Ah, it's here. Taking some losses as they're trying to escape the building. Rather coming up in front of the Panzer 4. 
But due to the fact the Panzer was moving, it did get less accuracy than his shot, and that might actually allow the conscripts there to survive. And there we go, Mini strikes towards the left hand side. Now there's absolutely nothing there. Good move. Good move. And we actually got a maximum there on the way for Mini. And it's interesting to go for the maximum right now. Not necessarily a bad one, just speeding things up a wee bit again. Shock troopers leading the way there. Pioneer's not been re-upgraded with a new flame for anything similar. Might want to consider that. Meanwhile, looks like the IS-2 is about to deal here with the Stormtroopers, who certainly will not be having any equipment to deal with that. Second pack 40 there for Mirage Flat. No sign of taking up, but again, he might want to consider that. Oh, half of the unit there wiped by the highest two bits of Bart Y getting wrecked as well. Oh, did he might get murdered? Oh, Stormtrooper unit dead. Stormtrooper unit dead there. A harsh loss for Mirage Flat. They had definitely done a lot there for the Fatherland. They died as heroes, running and getting shot to pieces by Russians. And the Grenadiers might soon become heroes as well, unless Mirage Club pulls them back there in time. Looks like the Panzer is being pulled up as well. Except they can't bloody well hit. Mine engagement here. Overall, they are outnumbered. That grenade failed to make much of an impact, also. I do believe they are exposed, there's not a lot of cover there to the Panzer so the Conscripts who on the other hand are in better cover there, might have the advantage versus the Panzer Grenadiers, despite the Panzer is themselves being rather veteran. So a few problems there, we got additional Panzer Grenadier there on the way from Mirage for now, no replacement storm with the flesh assault rifles for example. Even just a single Panzer Shrek. Another shock trooper assault. With Mirage Flight here seemingly not entirely sure what to do with the situation. Smoke's been there laid down to cover the securing of the victory point. Good, good. Victory point wise. We do note that Mirage Flight has a decent lead, and that's about it at the moment. And looks like Mini's about to go on the offensive. Oh, we actually got a break supply line strike there, knocking out the fuel point. That's not bad, that's not bad. Except Mini's already got plenty of fuel. So it's not that huge of a priority. We'll have to see again. Panzer is getting ventilatively there. Pack 40 there flanking up, that's good, that's good. We've got another pack 40 striking for the south at the same time, though it is rather open to an infinite assault. And there we go, total shock to units moving in. And there's only some veteran three Panzer Grenadiers to holding that up on their own. I don't think that's quite going to cut it. Quick grenade exchange, and the Panzer Gun has definitely lost out on that department. Pack 40 cleared out there by shock to burst, looking rather rough. The eyes do could to moving, I think, to support. Then again, the pack 40 could also be up to cover from the other side. Players have been cut down, Panthers are arriving. This is looking rather hazardous. Pack Ford is there firing. The Soviet one's not having much luck, and there we go. The Ice 2 is forced to fall back. Here have a rather close quarters engagement there for Mirage, which he just barely won. Just barely. I think that's what we got an incendiary artillery to strike down there. Panzer is caught. Troops suppressed. 
And a KD-8, probably due to the fact he doesn't quite have the population space. Actually, get an ally as soon as Teddy Optus will eat. A lesser acquiring KD-8. In that regard, he can still put up a lot of pressure there on Mirage Club's infantry. We got another Panther falling there on the way from Mirage Club. Really, again, think he needs to consider taking up and going for a Panther instead. Since that will have a better effect overall, I think. Again, due to the lack of maneuverability here for the Panzer IV. Using breakthrough tactics again just to sort of level out things in terms of victory points. Interesting. Interesting. Rare to see someone use breakthrough that much. And again, it is rare to see someone using circle men in the first place. A few Pantrix are flying. Second Panther IV rolling up there with infantry support, a plenty. Minion response to all of this, I think, taking up more of a defensive posture, more reacting now than acting. And there you go, Panther IV striking up, getting fl flanking in, but stopped there by Pack 40. Nice secure there by Minion and set up to sort of cover that one part of the flank. Overall, things are going to be a bit of a slot there for Mirage right at the moment. Looks like he is actually going to pull a flank here with the infantry, which is not bad. The problem is, though, there's plenty here to deal with the infantry, since the infantry's got absolutely no anti-tank coverage. And there we go, the KV-8 strikes in. Pants 4, they're down to half health. He's going, got Patrick, got pack 40. Pants 4 as well, I see those striking off most of those shots. If they hit. Looking very rough here between Rajpal, the losses are piling up again. Grenadiers lost, Pack so 4 lost. And oh dear, just, just not much good for him right there. Hands of almost down, need to retreat. Not once he's active, popping Blitzkrieg in fact. Pack 40 there in dire straits too. Nice shot there from the Panzer IV. Almost got the shock troopers. Almost. Come on, Mirage Pack, take up, get some Panthers. Get some Panzer Kampfwagen 5. Speeding us a bit. Entire structure of a unit there wiped out by the Panzer IV giving it Schurzen as well. That should make it a bit harder here for Mini's weapons to deal with it. Just a bit. Another incendiary barrage. We actually got a mortar there from Mirage Flam. I'm not entirely sure why it's getting a mortar now. I suppose the increase in support weapons might make a mortar slightly more attractive. I suppose there's also the smoke, but you know, you could have done with that earlier as well. But oh well, further speeding up. Mirage Flam, most of his forces back here. Looks like another. Assaulting the pet in the left lane, there goes smoke grenade again, but nothing to stop the Panzer IV, which quickly burst through. Mm, rather quiet here. Victory points now in the advantage here off. Mini over Mirage Flap. In terms of how many he's controlled, anyways. Controlling his veteran three Panzer Grenadiers, and there we go. The engagement is quickly won by the Panzer Grenadier. Maximir could be flattened and dealt with as well if he pulls off things correctly here. He should get close as possible. 
Ah, a bit slow there, a bit slow there. Might get away, might get away. No, maybe not, maybe not. There we go, maximum crew wiped. Further firing here. Panzer 14 damage. KV moving in straight into the Panzer Gundias. Ah, should work fine. Mini might want to consider getting some additional armor to support what tanks he's already got. I mean, a T-3476 or a T-70 could, I think, help here. And further give Mini an advantage versus Mirage fighting. So, Wanted Pants is moving up there again. He's desperately trying to deal with that ice super. So many shots, he's just failing to penetrate. Even the pack 40 at those ranges. Looking rather rough here. Pants 4 doing what he can to shield the infantry from the shock troopers get them out of there, but even then it's looking pretty bad. Just the pioneers will wipe out the veterans, he fleet pioneers, another heavy loss right there to Mirasla. Things are certainly beginning to look rather stacked against him. As he keeps losing units. More particularly veterans units without really getting anything sort of like that from many. And there we go, eventually two on the ice, two pants, one trouble, blitzing away, blitzing away, but can he make it, can he make it? Oh, so close. Damn close right there, and halfway to Vetchenty 3. Bloody well impressive. Another Panzer 4 though, seems like Mirage like is very much not thinking about taking up there. Bit of a missed opportunity there, I would say. And again, it's been so for quite some time now. In this battle. More incendiary artillery, more Panzer IV, more armor. Not more shock troopers there. Panzer Shots, exchange of engine, three Panzer units, and the losses are well, quickly getting there. Oh, the immortal crew here spotted by the IS2. The IS2 is certainly not happy to see them. Quite the opposite. Territorially, it's not looking too good either here. Oh, we got another breakthrough attempt here by Mirage Fly. I'm not entirely sure what he's doing at this point. And he, oh, he didn't even finish it. Oh, he didn't. Oh, Scheiße, he hits two mines in a row. Oh no! This is just not working out for Mirasla at all. Panzer is doing what they can here, but the presence of the ice too rather makes a difference. Oh, oh, more damage! Got heavy engine damage. Now I think it's hit off another mine. That's three mines in a row on a single tank. What rotten luck! More packs, more pioneers. Interesting enough, Mirage Fly has not bothered upgrading his Panzer force with Pentamite machine guns for that extra bit of anti infantry firepower. Pioneers ready for assignment. Also, remember, you can't repair a tank while it's moving. It needs to stand still before the pioneers can actually repair it. Things are beginning to look rather desperate there for Mirafla. He's now the one low on victory points compared to his opponent. He's not got other territory. And infantry wise, Mini might also have an advantage. Looks like plenty of mines going down there. Max is getting recruited, by the way. So what shall Mirage Fly do? He's also got munitions now for 
close the pocket. I don't think it's going to work very well due to the late po points of position here. In fact, there's a point here connecting straight into the center of the map, which rather means you can't really get much out of it. And that's not to say it's useless. Even if you can't sort of, you know, disconnect a certain amount of territories, you can still do it so it will still work for, say, frontline territories. So all the territories here next to me, Arsfar's territory, will still, for example, be hit by light mortar fire, which could still have an effect versus infantry and possibly some anti-tank guns. So it's not completely useless either, so you can even still consider doing it just for some extra artillery support doing everything. Which will certainly help him a bit. Got another turn down patch for another breakthrough attempt here by Mirajfla. He might be trying to cut things off to create, but again he needs to get this point, this point, this point, most puzzling this point, which is basically most of the territory here forming out the front line even. In that regard, Stalingrad is not a well map here for close to pocket. At least not the super extra juicy part of it. Oh, and the Panzer War is getting hitting more mines! Or something like that anyways. Oh dear, this is not looking good there for my last class Panzers. You could still utilize close to the pocket though. Got a Panzer War blitzing in. Not sure why. On its own versus the ice, who's not going to have much of a chance? There we go, though, a few Panzerx are connecting with the IS-2. Got a sprint as well. Our Panzer forces have been reduced by one. I think he's trying to cut off, but he meant there's still this point, which only really leaves this point and the victory point, so then cut off. Not really a lot. So again, if you're going to use it, just use it for the light artillery that's sort of going to, well, bombard everything. Nope, by the way, you need to see them though, but still, better than nothing. I'm still quite impressed with 200 munitions you get, well, free mortar fire across all sectors at the front line. Still, this chase is not looking good. Taking up might be now be too late for him. More packs still might be a solution, in particular if we get off the target weak point. And now we got storms being called in. You could consider some pantry tricks, maybe that will certainly be cheap options there for quickly getting off some more anti tank firepower. Or maybe one with pantry tricks, one with assault rifles and errors. Target's a weak point, Friedrich! Target's a weak point! But no. Missed opportunity then, we got the KV team with the stormtroopers here. Ah, oh, shite, sir. He might lose them, he probably will. No, it looks like Heinz there makes it off. The enemy is taking our territory. Got that ISU down still. No sign of target weak point. A grand missed opportunity there, I think, from Mirasla. Well, another one, and there we go, Panzer four down. One of our Panzers has been destroyed. Third SS here falling apart entirely. Despite all of those assault rifles handed to it. Target the weak point, come on, Mirasla. Target the weak point. Ah, scheiße. There we go, KV-8 flanking in. Oh, now he uses it. I think that's a bit slow. got the Panzers there sprinting in. Probably going to wipe it up before the Pack 40 is lost. Might work. There we go, KV-8 out of control. They could hit. Close range. Yo. Still not looking good, the losses keep piling up. We got more storms arriving now, regularly called in, others being reinforced. Got more shock troops arriving, we got three shock troops squads now here for Moaning Mini. And the Ice 2's there, halfway to Veteran 3. Another Veteran 3 Panzer gonna do unity, which the other one has been lost for some time now. He could get more assault rifles, the apartment would say a mix of assault rifles and then another one with Panzer X might work out nicely and hit three. Panzerics all in all, plus of course the squad here with them, the Storm Squad would be able to actually spot tanks with armoured texture, but no, looks like it's lots of assault rifles then, which can also work, in particular if you get off, well, tactical advance. Oh, he's laying down more S mines, so apparently again would have th thought, you know, maybe some Teller mines, would also be nice there versus the Ice 2s. Oh, he's finally taking up though, but 
does feel a bit too late here. Our opponents are seizing a second. Assault rifles are almost upgraded, they were forced to fall away. T70 almost done. A bit rare to see a T70 this late into the game, but considering the amount of infantry that Mirage has, I mean, it might be regarding particular also considering the way he can only cover against tanks. I mean, a T70 expertly used could actually do a lot of damage to Mirage that way as well. So it's not exactly a bad choice at all. But he's almost got it. Question is, will he actually be able to build it before it's too late? His victory points are ticking down, and no roll moaning mini. He's only growing in strength. Mortify going down there. <laughs> Turning apart shock troopers. There you go, mines going off, pioneers getting torn apart there. 20 kills on those shock troopers. Pretty good. We can see here, basically, Milasra is forced to scramble to react to every time the C79 appears with a pack 40, which also makes it more difficult to mount a more sensible defense. Got another pack 40 there arriving. I don't think we'll be seeing that heavy Panzer Corps. Which point he might save use of resources, just get more tanks of the regular kind, just some assault guns. Big two point wire's not looking good. Almost full pop cap there for Mini. Demo charges pass. down. Not a single usage of tactical advance there when you I'm disappointed. But overall still nice to see encirclement actually being used. Also because I know some players have requested usage of it, so... You know. And there we go, Panzer can is wiped out with a demo charge. Victory points almost down there. Almost. And there we go. Game over. A loss to Germany. A victory for the Soviet Union. A victory to Mini versus Mirage Flar. A rather tense battle. Some heavy urban action there. Plenty of assault rifles and submachine guns on both sides. Tank for the infantry. But rather feel like, in some regards, Mirage Claude did not really use his doctrine to the fullest part, in particular the Stormtroopers with the assault rifles. Use tactical advance. It is an absolutely great ability under the right conditions and can easily turn any engagement to your favour if used correctly. And rather, he did not do that, which I think was actually a um, large mistake there. We drove all out several times the units to get away. Knoll's going to think of a bit of an edge there versus Mini, so I think that was a mistake. Also, Telemines. I mean, he might have benefited from a few Telemines there versus the Ice 2, just rushing for the Panther. But again, he stuck around, I think, too long with the Panther 4, trying to make them work, but he couldn't just get to work in these narrow streets versus the Ice 2. In that regard, you need a Panther or something, you know, similar to sort of deal with things, but that really didn't come about, and I think was another large mistake there strategically from Mirage. But overall, it was a lot of Mini to sort of make good use of an overall mini to make good use of his eyes too here in these narrow streets. In short, it could not easily be outflanked or dealt with. He never, oh, well, pushed it too far or allowed it to get into a situation where he had a serious chance of getting it lost. So, in that regard, that was pretty good there by Mini and overall well played by him. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this match. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, why not subscribe to your friends, share it with everyone. If not, you know, send in the replay and write some feedback in the comment section. This is Imperial Dainting. Cheers and thank you all for watching. And see you tomorrow. Bye.